I'm not exactly sure what the value of this little cassette hand rewinder is. You put it in here, you flip that up, kind of locks in there, and you can rewind your cassette tape. I'll admit I don't quite know what the purpose is. You can do the whole thing eventually. Maybe if your tape came loose and you didn't want to do the pencil thing. I have no idea what that's for. Here's one of the consumer head cleaning things that were put out in the mid 80s maybe. Paper brush. You can pause your screen and read some of this. I'm not saying use these to clean your heads. This is not the right way. I'm just going to demonstrate what was available to consumers back in the mid 80s or whenever this came out. You can take that brush out and clean it. Well, let's stick it in the RCA VPT 392 from 1987 and watch it work. All right, we've alcoholed our little brush. We've got the timer set to green. Let's push it in. Let's set play. Here it comes. back in. And that's that. My realistic SC25 that I have out on my workbench developed a severe audio problem over the winter. So opening up the case Something to do with this. I'm talking about this little output level potentiometer here on the back. Try a little spray in here. simple repair, I hope, of the realistic SCT-25 stereo cassette deck. Here's a space shuttle radio, AM. When you get it, you have to put the decals on yourself. There's a 9-volt battery that goes in behind the thrusters there. You've got an on volume here. I need a tuning dial. I'm not going to do a band scan. Not enough time for that. I'm kind of a space shuttle geek, so I like this. They look for the buttons. In 2014, I uploaded a video about an American Bosch 1929 Model 48 radio. I didn't know much about it at the time, and I didn't do this. These are the specs from Nostalgia Air. L1 was the variometer, L2 and L3, second and third RF coils, and L4 was the detector coil. This is what I saw in the video. I did not know those coil covers came off. Eventually I figured out they did after I made the video. And this is what I found inside, second, third RF, and detector coils. This is the variometer. I didn't know what that was either, and I didn't know that cap came off, but it did. And that's what's inside there. I didn't show this in my video. Hope this helps.